What's going on guys? Let me tell you something right now. If you guys are looking to keep your home, skin, hair smelling fresh and clean, then you need pound for pound the best fragrance products in the world, and that is Ash Kicking. I'm talking about everything you need to create a comfortable home living environment and create a comfortable space for entertaining, you need Ash Kicking. Pound for pound the best incense burners in the world, home fragrance products, and health and beauty products, go to ashkicking.com. Put in this promo code DBN317 and you'll get 10% off of all your orders. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So while all of the best welterweight champions in the world are unifying their titles to settle the score and find out who really is the best welterweight in the world, Manny Pacquiao, who is one of the welterweight champions, his promoter just recently explained why Manny Pacquiao will not be facing Kell Brook versus Errol Spence winner or Keith Thurman. So in response to being asked the question if Manny Pacquiao will ever get in the ring with any of these top welterweights, Bob Arum said, and I quote, this is totally for boxing schmucks. It means nothing to me. End quote. Bob Arum would go on to basically take jabs at Keith Thurman versus Danny Garcia's performance, saying they fought one of the most cautious fights ever. And that's his excuse for why he won't put Manny Pacquiao in the ring with Keith Thurman or Kell Brook versus Spence Winter. Now, you know, guys, I tell you all the time on this channel, this is the reason why it pays to just be honest sometimes and give fighters the credit they deserve. Because when you get on this political stuff and you just say stuff that you know is not true at all, then once again, being disingenuous, it forces you to contradict yourself. And Bob Arum just made a whole bunch of contradictions in that little piece that I just read. He talked about how it wasn't important to unify the titles because of the way Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia fought. Then he even tried to compare them to the Hagglers and the Hearns and the way they fought, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if we're going off of Bobby's logic, then why didn't he put Manny Pacquiao in there with Keith Thurman after Thurman had a war with Sean Porter in his very last fight? If your only excuse why you're not putting Manny Pacquiao in there with some of the top welterweights is because of their style, then why aren't you thinking about putting Manny Pacquiao in the ring with Errol Spence? Errol Spence is a knockout artist. So if unifying the welterweight titles is for smucks, as Bob Arum put it, then what is Manny Pacquiao facing Chris Algieri for? What is Manny Pacquiao facing Jeff Horn for? How does that make any sense? And the reason why I mentioned Chris Algieri's name is because Chris Algieri, he used foot movement. And going into that fight, Manny Pacquiao, Bob Arum, and Team Manny Pacquiao, they knew that Chris Algieri was going to play the role of the boxer, moving around the ring, et cetera, et cetera. Just like they know that if Manny Pacquiao fights Amir Khan, it may be the same thing. So saying that, you know, that's totally for smucks, you know, to unify the welterweight title and face the best guys at the top of the division, basically for the gold medal in the welterweight division. How does that make any sense? It clearly doesn't make any sense. There is no way you can justify all of Manny Pacquiao's opponents and then turn around and say Keith Thurman versus uh, Danny Garcia, Kell Brook versus Errol Spence is just for smucks. Doesn't really make sense, it doesn't add up. And furthermore, I'm gonna tell you something as well. Don't believe this when you hear people say, oh, it's just Bob Arum, you know, this getting in the way and stopping Manny Pacquiao from facing the Thurmans, the Errol Spences, etc., etc. Let me tell you something right now. Manny Pacquiao knows, just like I know, that if Manny really wanted to fight someone in particular, he would make it happen. He would call up Bob Arum and he would say, Bob, this is the guy that I want to face. Just like Bob Arum tried to make Manny Pacquiao fight Terrence Crawford, and Manny Pacquiao said, I'm not interested in fighting Terrence Crawford. 
This is part of the reason why we're getting this late scramble right now when it comes to Pacquiao looking for an opponent and no longer getting his April date. I mean, of course, Bob Arum talked about money that was promised and all that kind of stuff. But still, if Manny Pacquiao would have took the Terrence Crawford fight, which Bob Arum wanted him to take, then the fight would have been official already. But now, because Manny Pacquiao did not want to fight the opponent that Bob Arum told him to fight, now they're scrambling. So, at the end of the day, Bob Arum's excuse for why Manny is not fighting Keith Thurman or Brooke Spence winner, it doesn't add up and it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, I feel, you know, why doesn't Bob just come straight out and just give these fighters the credit they deserve? Why doesn't he just say, I mean, these guys are really tough right now. And I need to ask Manny if he wants to take a risk like that. I mean, why don't he just say something like that? But, you know, this is pretty much Bob Arum's answer for why Manny Pacquiao will most likely never get in the ring with the other welterweight champions. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.